Olympic final and the same final of the last World Championship. Of the last two World Championships, 2016 and 2018. And now I note that there has been a strategic change of kata choice. Yes, they are both going to do Ohandai. And that gives those of you who are not so familiar with the katas an opportunity to make a direct comparison between the two athletes to see how you may feel about the way you would vote should you be given the opportunity. The judges are now leaving the tatami, they're going round to the side. Red goes first because it was the athlete that finished with the highest score in the semi-final gets to go second. So in this case it is I mean Quintero, he scored 27.28. In the semi final, Ohandai, he already performed Kurunfa, Super Empe, and Anandai. King Bull, King Tero, makes his way to the center and his performance of the kata, Ohandai. Well, due to COVID, we don't have a public audience, but those that are here are certainly getting behind Quintero. So his star is um, strong. I think these this, uh, UAU Katas are suited to the showman power. And for those that are not so familiar with the term real Ruhayu, from the islands of Okinawa, made famous by Sakamoto Sensei who is a triple world champion in Kata. Yeah. So tonight uh, Kuna could become the first with four titles. So we can see a first world champion if Damian wins or a record for Rio Kuna. from Argentina to Spain when he was just five years old. I mean, Quintero been representing his country in both team and individual. Gave up in the team so he could focus on the Olympics and the World Championships. So he's uh, third final in a row. I think... Uh, this is uh, his uh, fifth participation in individual in, in a world championship and looking to make history tonight. I think uh, I think it was a good choice. The kata looks strong and um, physically uh, also um, since the eliminations, the the semi final. I think uh, 
he, he was looking very confident, very relaxed. And now... Has Quintero done enough? We have now the triple world champion, the Olympic champion. And that gold on his shoulder signifies that he is the current world champion. Rio Kiona is potentially able here to make history to become the first ever Kata athlete to win four consecutive world titles. Well, one thing that is very impressive is um, his presence on the tummy. He always looked very confident, like, you know. He has the situation under control. <laughs> hasn't taken a day of training in two years. And he trains five or six hours every single day. I think it's interesting because we see same kata. It's like it should be easier to compare this time. Um, because one of one of the things is like Kiuna always has this impressive athletic part, you know, very powerful, very um, explosive. And I think uh, this time also Damian showed a lot of power, a lot of um, explosiveness. So the athletic part was not um, the difference that is it used to be always, you know. So. Well, the score is now in for Rio Kiuna, and it is also for Damien Quintero. The judges have done all they can do to make their assessment. We just now have to see what that graphic says on the screen as they make their way to the other side. Look at the technical performance, athletic performance. Damien Quintero in red, Rio Kiuna in blue. As Jan Christensen, we have 18.62, 19.74 for Rio Kuna. He still sits out there in front at the moment. What does the athletic performance tell us? It tells us that he is the first person ever to become four-time world champion. Historic, the Olympic champion, four times world champion, Rio Kuna from Japan.
What an amazing performance. Yeah, I think it was a it was a great performance. I think uh, Rio is is a great champion. Uh, from from my point of view uh, here, um, uh, maybe I uh, I'm gonna say something. Is uh, I think for me the difference was too big. Uh, I, I don't want to criticize the judges, but you know, I think uh, uh, for me it was a closer closer match. I think I think Yuna was great. But I think uh, Damian did a, a great job. It was a very good kata, and, and for me, not so big difference in this this time. But um, both are great champions. I'm really happy for for Rio because uh, he's um, he's not so, not only a, 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 a great karate player, a great champion, but also a good a great person. And, and um, I have the pleasure to to share a lot of times with both of them. And, I think it was um, it's, it's great, and I think maybe maybe this is uh, start the start of a new era and the end of one. No, so it's.